History was made in Ottawa this afternoon as the House of Commons elected a new speaker. He's Greg Fergus, the Liberal MP for the Quebec riding of Hall Elmer near Ottawa. Fergus becomes the first black Canadian to be elected speaker. Good honorable député de Hall Elmer, Greg Fergus. Thank you. And that was the moment Fergus's win was announced. As is tradition, he feigned that he was being dragged to the Speaker's chair by the Prime Minister and leader of the official opposition. Fergus's election was prompted by the resignation of the previous Speaker, Anthony Rhoda, after he honoured a Ukrainian veteran who had served with the Nazis. That happened the day Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky visited the House. The CBC's Olivia Stefanovic is in Ottawa and she joins me now live. So, Olivia, tell us more about the new speaker. Well, Andrew, not only is Greg Fer Fergus the first member of Parliament of Colour to be elected as Speaker of the House of Commons, making history today, he's also the first Speaker from Quebec to, to sit in this chair, the first MP from Quebec in more than 40 years. It's, you know, the last <laughs> MP from Quebec to sit in the chair was in the 1980s, so it's been a while. Fergus was elected in 2015. He's a Liberal MP who was elected with the Trudeau government when it came into power. He represents the riding of Hull Aylmer, so just across the river from from Ottawa here in the Gatineau region. So not a stranger to this area. And in fact, uh, Andrew, he actually was a parliamentary page in 1988 and actually served the longest serving member in the House of Commons, Louis Plomadon, who is a bloc member who actually presided over the speaker election today. And Fergus, when he took the chair as speaker, he actually uh, pointed out that he used to give this MP, this bloc MP, uh, notes and water as page. So he recalled that experience. Um, Fergus, he says that he wants to improve decorum in the House of Commons. He was elected by, you know, obviously many people from all parties. I did see him in, in the chamber, Andrew, just so you know, being congratulated by many different members from the Conservatives, the NDP, to the Liberals. And he says he wants to take this job seriously and improve confidence in the House of Commons. Let's take a listen to what he had to say when he was elected. Respect is a fundamental part of what we do here. We need to make sure that we treat each other with respect, that we show Canadians the example. Because there can be no dialogue unless there's a mutual understanding of respect. If there can be no ability to pursue the arguments, to make your points be heard, unless we all agree to extend to each other that sense of respect and decorum. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau released a statement after Fergus was elected as Speaker. Trudeau calls this a historic day, as Fergus being the first black mm -hmm. Canadian to become Speaker of the House of Commons. And Trudeau went on to call Fergus a source of inspiration for all Canadians, especially younger generations who want to get into politics, Andrew. And so, Olivia, is this kind of done and dusted, or what happens next? Is he now officially the, the Speaker? Well, Fergus, before he presided over question period, he actually went all the way to the Senate, which is in another building now that center block is under renovation, and he was acknowledged by the Governor General. Then, just a short time ago, he came back to the House of Commons chamber and presided over his first question period. And, Andrew, the first thing he said before he acknowledged the leader of the official opposition, Pierre Polyev, he asked MPs to treat him like a new car and not to give him a dent on his first day. And Polyev, in response, stood up and said, you'll keep to the right side of the road. So that was a bit of a funny moment. Now, question period focused mostly on the cost of living. And although MPs were on better behavior today, there was a bit of jeering, heckling. And there was a moment in which Fergus had to tell Polyev that, or actually remind him that the speaker has to um, acknowledge the, uh, an MP, uh, the leader of the, the official opposition before they start speaking. And the heckling you know, did increase, I would say, throughout question period, Andrew, and Fergus at one point even had to tell members of parliament that even if I look away, I can tell who's talking. Okay. All right. For day one, uh, Olivia, thank you. The CBC's <laughs> Olivia Stefanovic live in Ottawa.